Welcome back to Silent Hill Downpour. In the last episode, we just went through the workshops, found the four pieces, actually no, five pieces to the passcode to get into this room and continue. And where I ended the episode is right after getting into this room, something started banging on the door where I just came from and making dents in it and looking like it's going to burst down any second. So that's why I've paused it right here so we can try to recreate that. <laughs> <laughs> Try to recreate that panic. Okay, let's go. Right, so I came in here and then... Yep, here we go. Sweet, another quarter dollar. Love quarter dollars. Um... I think, can I move this? Yes! Time to open that, go through the uh, air vent thingy. Come on, come on. Wait, I need I need a screwdriver? I don't have a screwdriver, do I? Oh no, I have coins! I have coins! <laughs> Mash X to crawl. Okay, I can do that. Ooh! Was this the start of the disturbance? That was the distraction for me to go kill that other person that Sewell wanted me to? Oh, there's monsters here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna turn off my light just in case they didn't see me. How am I doing on ammo? Three shots. And no melee weapon? Great. Oh, they're moving. Ah, that, no, no, no. Grab. Damn it. Okay. Okay, now they're all coming at me. I didn't mean to drop the freaking weapon. I just wanted to switch to the pistol. Oh my god. I, I don't have enough ammo or anything to deal with these people. I think I just need to freaking run. Ah. I think I'd need to put my access card into these two things up here. Okay, kind of worked. What? What's going on? Maybe I gotta wait for it. Maybe it's on a timer, please. I cannot fight these people. No fucking way. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. I noticed that this one's still lit up. Oh no, it's, it's slowly opening. Come on, come on. I'm badly hurt. Do I have a make it? I don't.
From Frank Coleridge to Captain Handley. Sir, as you know, I've been a corrections officer at Royal State Prison for nearly 20 years. During my tenure, I've been witness to questionable behavior by my fellow guards, but never to the degree that I have observed over the last six months. Most notably, the gross misconduct that I have witnessed by corrections officer George Sewell deserves immediate attention. C.O. Sewell has been engaged in a number of reprehensible activities including drug trafficking, blackmail, coercion, and violence against prisoners. As a longtime veteran of the prison guard staff, I refuse to turn a blind eye to his transgressions. Please accept this letter as an official request to open an internal investigation of C.O. Sewell and any other guards who may be uh, aiding him in these illegal acts. I am willing to formally submit my testimony in writing and or in person to the investigative committee. Respectfully, Frank Coleridge. Senior Corrections Officer. Frank Coleridge. Oh, that was the person that never gave up on me, right? Um, that was the comment that Murphy made. Frank Coleridge. Um, yeah, this note here for this work thing might be good for you. What do you think, Frank? This is the work release program application. So Frank liked Murphy. Overlook Penitentiary executes innocent man. Holy shit. Internal investigation underway. Federal intervention expected. What the fuck? Medkit. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm not fighting you. Close it, close it. Close it! Once again, we find ourselves in the showers. There's the crime scene. There's the shiv. Is that a badge? Morning badge. Morning like... Morning someone's death? What? Worn by law enforcement to mourn the death of a fellow officer. I think I got it. Um, okay, I think the person that Sewell wanted us to kill, the second person, uh, remember they wanted us to repay the favor by killing someone else. Someone they told us was a monster. They said, don't worry about the details. They're a monster. They deserve it. I, I remember before I was talking about how I think they were probably innocent. Now I think that, but in addition to that, I think they were an undercover police officer. Yeah, so if if they were a prisoner here and a police officer, that means they must have been undercover, probably to investigate Sewell, right? Because of all the reports about Sewell being dirty and drug trafficking and doing all these things with the prisoners, they probably put a police officer undercover as a prisoner to, you know, gather 
intel on them and and see what they do. And that's why Sewell wanted them dead, because Sewell, I guess, found out that they were undercover. Wanted to kill them so that they didn't, you know, tell on what Sewell had been doing. Yeah, I bet that's it. Oh god, I don't think I want that. Handmade weapon sharpened to perfection. Black leather gloves stained with blood. How's it going, Murph? Heard you're gonna be leaving us soon. You weren't thinking of leaving before you paid back my favor, were you? Hey! Who's there? Here we go. You can't outrun yourself. Another one of these things, damn it. did four at a time. I was expecting two or three. Shit. It is instant death as I, you know, would expect. Being impaled. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, God, it is five. Okay. Woo. This one doesn't even go.
Okay, we got 15 shotgun. Yeah, 15 shots for the shotgun. Pretty good. I think I'm gonna need him. easy to miss. Okay, so we're going to be fighting something like every floor as we go down, aren't we? That was a lot of wasted shots. shots. Two shots with a pistol. I guess I'll go with that. This is the only pathway that has a light at the end of the tunnel, so let's go that way. shots now. Cool. Seems like it's worth it to just shoot without aiming. More likely to hit them? Seems like it's more aggressive auto-targeting. Especially when you're up close, like I am. Four shots left. No medkits. Oh, I don't think I've mentioned this, by the way, but remember a while ago I updated the game to a newer patch and updated the version of the emulator? It has definitely increased the performance. It's almost never gone below 30 FPS. I don't actually have an FPS counter, but it certainly doesn't feel like it has. And during big scenes, like basically anything that's not indoors, any sort of outdoor scene, or even these scenes with lots of effects and pretty big environments, it would usually get really choppy. Like maybe 10 or 15 FPS sometimes, but... Yeah, it's a lot better now.
What am I hearing in there? Oh my god, I love these. These set pieces, they're so cool. Was my stuff. Oh, right, I haven't done this in forever. Uh. That's the thing I was hearing. I love the look of this room. Brilliant. All these, like, blood vessels and stuff feeding something. It looks like a tank in the middle of the room, and then these weird... Vaguely humanoid figures. And you could see everything in a, a reflection in the water? Sort of seems like water, but man, that reflection does not look like water. It looks like a mirror, practically. But in the mirror, or in the reflection, everything's gray. Like, nothing has red color. So I didn't lose everything. Just my weapons. And my flashlight. I'm gonna turn that. I think that's gonna flip me to the other world. It sounds like a machine, but it also sort of sounds like a heartbeat. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, those enemies are on the other side, so I don't need to worry about them. Yeah, okay. Can I, like, trap them? If they walk over into those squares, I think I could trap them. Although this... I, I would need to flip to the other world, obviously. Wouldn't I? Surely this isn't going to do them in the other world. Also, they're not even going over there enough. Hmm. 
three control panels. But only two cages, so maybe it doesn't control the cages. I have no idea. Let's uh, press something. Oh. That's right, you ugly bastards. Back off! That's my opportunity to trap him. Yes. I don't like the light. just came between worlds. I think. Or did it? It's kind of hard to tell. I think it is slightly into this, this universe. I can't do anything with it, though. Maybe I go back and flip to the other one? No, that didn't actually do anything. Oh, I didn't even notice. It looks like there's another one in here. <laughs> and punching metal... <laughs> punching bars can't feel good. Another control panel. Wait, what's that gonna do? Better not let him out. So it opened this door over here, and it looked like there were horrible blades inside. There are. Those were the things making the sort of heartbeat noises. Uh... Hmm... I noticed that they're not spinning in the other world. That made that one stop. Okay. And if I step off, does it start back up? After it fills up, so you get a couple seconds. Okay. Okay, so I think I go over here. This probably stops a different one, right? Yeah, that corner one. So I gotta go in between these two. <laughs> okay. I think if I stay outside of that red border, I'll be okay. Hmm. Okay. Is this a trick or is that it? I think that's it. These set pieces really are amazing. There's another medkit in this world.
Looks like it's sort of a puzzle involving light. Gotta get out while sort of scaring them away so that I don't get beaten to a pulp. Sure wish I had my flashlight. So maybe I can like corral them all there and then close that, trap them there. Oh. Yeah, they can get to me. No. No. I think I need to just trap these ones in here, and then... Probably using that light over there, trap these ones in this other chamber, because these are separate little chambers. So I think I just need to focus on this side for now. Come on, come on. And then the light will just stay there, so they won't be able to go through it. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Oh, look at that sky.
They sound demonic. Oh, 